Hello and welcome to the Storyboard and Twitter special, The Conversation, Converse to Convert. I'm Shibani Gharat. Diwali is that time of the year when the mood is joyous and festive. We want to connect with our family and friends. While last two years, most people had to exchange festive wishes virtually this Diwali, all of us are looking forward to celebrating the festival with our friends and family in person. But we will still come to Twitter to share good wishes, signature festive dishes, Diwali cleaning and decoration tips and so much more. These type of conversations on the platform present brands with perfect opportunity to nurture customer relationships relationship by engaging with the key audience when they are at their most receptive. Over the years, several brands and marketers across segments have leveraged the festive season to launch new products and amplify initiatives on the platform. The festive season also witnesses several brands jumping onto the gifting bandwagon with various promotions running over the period. How do these conversations convert into sales and how do brands uh, drive positive Positivity and fuel brand memorability during the festive times. To discuss this, today we are joined in by Mayank Prabhakar, Head of Digital Marketing, Vivo, and Nidhi Hola, Country Marketing Director, Dell, along with Kanika Mittal, Country Head, Large Client Solutions, Twitter India. All of you, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you. Thank you, Shivani. Thank you. Kanika, my first question uh, goes to you. With Diwali just around the corner, can you tell us more about what kind of conversations are happening on Twitter and you know what is it that you are witnessing this festive season? Thanks, Shivani. I think your opening said it all. Consumers are so excited. They're in a jubilant mood. And of course, when there is so much of positivity all around, marketers do want to make sure that they are favorably positioned and they're top of mind for their consumers. The interesting thing that we are seeing on Twitter is that there's a complete explosion of conversations that happen in the week of Diwali, and they pretty much cross more than 3 million conversations. Uh, the majority of them are actually very, very positive in nature. And like you said, they are all about sharing ideas, tips around decoration, around sustainable Diwali, or anything else they may be planning to gift by and so on. It becomes such a beautiful amalgamation of culture on our platform that the opportunity for brands is not just immense, but it's also a way for them to become a very strong and a cemented part of our culture. Uh, what we've also seen is that not just the conversation spike, but uh, people are also coming on Twitter to look at reviews. And more than 60% of our consumers are looking at Twitter to find reviews before making their purchase decisions. Mm. Interestingly, more than 60% also tell us, uh, you know, through our, our, our research program, that they feel like, you know, they're able to go beyond their immediate circle of friends and family and find more interesting, passionate and influential consumers like them on the platform. Mm. And they're guided by their choices and their reviews. So I would say conversations are not just immense on the platform, but they're also extremely valuable conversations being driven by a highly receptive audience and they are going to an audience that is again receptive and looking for these kind of tip, tips, tricks, reviews and informations before buying um, anything or making a purchase decision. And uh, Kanika, you said it tips, tricks and reviews and reviews is something which is important for uh, I believe both Dell and uh, Vivo. So Nidhi over to you with so many players in the market uh, and you know amidst this uh, entire uh, festive clutter how do you ensure that your brand stands out? So Shivani first of all thanks for uh, having me here. I'd say the the quiet confidence of not saying anything during festive clutter can also help you stand out. Because when you do speak at the right time with the right message, you are more authentic. So for us, it's more about investing in brand building, in building our brand voice consistently. Otherwise, you're seen as trying too hard. Okay, over to you, uh, Mayang. You know, you're representing a consumer-first brand, in which is Vivo. With the festive season upon us, what are some of the key trends that you're witnessing in the tech OEM space? A lot of launches were happening on Twitter over the past uh, two years is what we have seen. Something that we had unheard of prior to the pandemic but over the past two years we saw a lot of launches uh, happened on the platform now you know when the launch launches are back to happening in person what is happening in the tech oem spa space on twitter 
See, uh, given a consumer first as approach, right? We have to be very cautious about what is the value required mm. by a particular user. In vivo, we are driven by the values from the user, right? We have a continuous learning program basis which we keep on adding innovations, and we are bound to deliver innovations generation by generation. Now, coming to this festive season, I think it's equivalent to a shopping festival anywhere. Consumer is already into a consideration of consideration mind wherein he has. Somehow opted for what device he is going to look for, what he is going to buy, right? So that consideration phase is already there. There is a lot of organic pull which happens why because they are looking for that deals and then offers and the cashback what we see. So what I believe is I think it's more of a value of the product which they look for and they made a consideration followed by some offers and more important is affordability what they do. Now what we need to do is to drive that consideration. There has to be a lot and lot of positive conversations built on. the social media that is there i think that's what i will say it's very very important to have a healthy and a positive conversation around your brand throughout the year so that you are in the consideration set they might conclude during the festival season why because they are waiting for those offers and affordability to come yeah okay uh, and uh, kanika over to you we are all living in this age of uh, social shopping today how can brands harness and scale uh, a scale and influence of these brand conversations to drive business and be seen and heard yes shivani you know first of all i must acknowledge this is a very interesting conversation because we are getting the perspective of both uh, b2b and b2c and i get this question very often myself that you know how does strategy change around festive occasions uh, when it comes to b2b and b2c and and i think twitter is is such a unique platform because it caters to both um and so well equally so uh what we've noticed you know on our platform and you know through our research is that more than 90% of the consumers actually want to look at brand conversation before finalizing a purchase decision and a majority of them have actually acknowledged that their purchase decision has changed because of something that they have read on social media and i think that's why it's very important that brands have a very very strong strategy in place when they tap into social media conversations brand conversations and truly harness the power uh what i would i, I mean what i would suggest is to have a very strong campaign flight plan, uh, flight plan which has a full funnel approach uh so you start with awareness you start with building interest and intrigue in your products and services this could be done through visually exciting content this content could reside for example on the twitter spotlight which sits right on top of what's trending or it could be in the form of an emoji engine which allows you to engage with your consumer and explain different products and services by tying them back to specific emojis so the idea is to keep it visually very exciting so that your consumer leans in and you're able to create that awareness and interest then you move to the second part of the marketing funnel which is driving consideration here what i would suggest is to have very exciting and engaging formats so for example twitter conversational cards allow you to just at a single click of a button actually partake in brand conversations and create virality on the timeline and that's the holy grail for any marketer so i would say the second part is to use engaging formats so that from awareness you move to consideration and you become more top of mind for your consumer and he starts thinking about you before uh, finalizing their purchase decision and then the third is you know to make sure that you have your campaign flight plan spread across the full funnel is to then use performance solutions by twitter to make sure that you're able to take all of these conversations and you're leading them to conversion the interesting thing is that when you have phase 1 and phase 2 which is awareness and consideration done through visually exciting content and engaging formats you will have a pool of leaned in audiences you will know that this is a set of consumer that has already liked your brand or is interested in your product and then when you apply performance marketing or performance solutions you can get that much incremental result through our audiences um, and really deliver on those business kpis so i would say having a full funnel drive to buy approach on twitter can make a real difference when you want to harness the magic of brand conversations on social media it is time for a short break this conversation will continue you don't go anywhere we will be right back